What's up, y'all, and welcome back to The Hood Goddess Journey. I'm your host, Duzarella, The Hood Goddess. Before we get started, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, all my readings are $40. Um, click the link in my description box, www.hoodofhealing.com, or just search it, and you will find my website. Um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Peace and enjoy. All right, what's up, y'all? Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into the energy reading. I don't have any extra messages. I'm just going to wait on the cards. All right, so we have take time to breathe out. <laughs> so it's fair to say to breathe. Breathe. <laughs> I'm on the bottom of the deck you have surrendered to the divine so spirit is saying to surrender whatever you can't control over to the most high and just do what you can do for you and it says be bold and make the first move so Spirit is saying to make the first move towards whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you're um, trying to get or gain out of life. Then we have your commitment is being tested. So whatever, you're to, whatever you told yourself that you're going to be committed to doing, Spirit is testing you right now, everybody who's um, watching um, and it says the energy is go giving is gaining momentum my bad so things are um things things are speeding up times are um, days are going by faster things will progress progress faster than you may think and then you have the end of a tough cycle approaches. So yeah, I feel like Spirit is saying to breathe is nothing to worry about. That's what I feel like that breathe out is saying. And it's saying to just be bold and go after whatever it is that you want to go after and be committed to it. Spirit is trying to see if you really want what you say you want. And Spirit is saying things are about to speed up. So, you know, get with it, you know. And know that the end of a tough cycle is is coming to an end. And then underneath that, you have a, a new romantic cycle begins. And it says believe in the impossible. So some people could be going, getting into new romantic relationships. And then you have look at the bigger picture. So we're going to go ahead and get into some more cards. Let's see what else we got for the collective in this energy reading. What is she trying to say to us? Got these cards up there. We have loyal heart. You have 35 on that card that breaks down to an eight. Eight talks about abundance. Um walking away, leaving certain situations behind. Um, eight talks about communication, um, moving fast, moving forward, traveling. Uh, yeah. Anything else? People's loyalty could be being tested at this time you have thinker a lot of people could be thinking about yeah you have another eight 44 that's an eight <laughs> so we have eight eight that's funny eight eight lion's gate eight eight portal that's wild the number eight is definitely here prominent 
I'm going to clarify what these cards are um, trying to say. And then we have message in the bottle. And we have soulmates. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so we have... Okay. 15 and 41. And on the bottom of the deck, we have yin. So this is a feminine energy. We have the feminine energy. Soulmates. Loyal heart. Let's cl clarify what this loyal heart is trying to tell us. What is this loyal heart trying to say, spirit? We have the Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So I feel like somebody is wanting to work towards something. We have the we have the ten of ten of swords and you have the morning. I'm gonna clarify what this means. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody is wanting to put a commitment or something to rest. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody was in a commitment that was filled with a lot of betrayal, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. And somebody is working on healing that or putting that to rest if they haven't already put it to rest. Let me clarify what this is saying. Morning in the heart. Queen of Wands. Page of Cups. Justice. I feel like somebody is wanting to make something right within a commitment. Click on this King of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this King of Pentacles, he wants to have victory. It doesn't have to be a masculine. It could be a feminine, but... Um, that's a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. But somebody wants to have victory when it comes to someone else. They want to be loyal to this feminine energy. Yeah, they want to bring balance to this connection. I feel like it. I could. I feel like somebody could have left a, a painful situation in the past, and now they're leaving that. Now they're moving on within their higher self because they died, and then it's like, okay, now I've come back. I rose. Now I'm going on towards this new place, this new beginning, because I've been through all the bullshit already. Now I want to move towards another feminine energy that's going to give me this blessed energy, this blessed feeling, this blessed vibe. And then you have unfinished symphony right underneath that. So this could be someone that you know already. And then you have deep knowing underneath that. And then you have clean it up underneath that. So yeah, I feel like someone was cleaning up an old situation and now they're moving on to another energy that's um 
going to bring them justice and close out those cycles of pain and hurt. All right. So that's what the loyal heart is saying. Somebody's moving towards someone who's going to give them loyalty. Whether you are masculine or feminine in this situation, somebody's bringing loyalty energy, that loyal energy. Um, let's clarify this thinker. We have the sun. It's nothing to think about. It's going to be good. It's going to bring happiness. It's going to bring joy. It's going to bring abundance. The sun card is the happiest card of the deck. And then you have the eight of wands. It's going to happen fast. It's going to be swift. It's going to be quick. Um, let's see what this message in the bottle. What is this message in the bottle, spirit? We have... Two of Wands, somebody's waiting for some kind of message or waiting to send a message or wanting to send a message. Yeah, we have the Tower. This message is going to make or break a certain situation. I feel. Yeah, we have the Universe. Yeah, something's going to close out. And when something closes, another door opens. So when there's a uh, closing, yeah, look at that, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like whatever is closing out is the end of destruction. And now you're moving on to abundance. The Ten of Pentacles talks about abundance between two people sharing and creating wealth together, material abundance together in the physical We'll keep that out. And yeah, look at that. Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. That's the truth. Yeah, look at that. Four of Wands. That's talking about stability, being committed with this other person and um, gaining abundance and being in your truth. This message could be talking about being in a commitment and investing in, in something yeah, I feel like this message has something to do about ending this distance. Because I feel like with this card, it feels like this message has to come from some from far away to get to this person. And um, once this message is sent, it's going to close out cycles because... And look, that's a confirmation. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But yeah, shit is about to fucking come to an end. You have having tower moments because of this message and it's going to close out the old cycles that whoever's ending um, past things is going to close out those cycles and bring in something new. And it's whatever that's going to be new is going to be very abundant and somebody's going to be investing into something new, something stable. Something that's going to bring stability. All right, now we have soulmates. Let's clarify the soulmates. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Feminine Energy. Then you have the Two of Swords. So you could be indecisive, don't know which direction to go in. Then you have the seven of wands. Yeah, you could be guarded or somebody could be guarded or somebody could be blocked off. You have four of cups. Somebody feels they missed out on an opportunity with you. That's what that is. So whoever was left behind, they feel as though they missed out on opportunity with you because now they're blocked off. Your peace is not being disturbed. It's like she's looking in a cup like, where the effort at? Where the effort at? Where the effort at? I don't see nothing in this cup. I don't see nothing in this cup. So why would I give you my cup? You go over here with all these damn cups and all these damn cups you got are empty. Where the effort at? To fill my cup up. There's no effort. 
I don't know where the hell this cloth came from. Alright, um, let's see what else we got with this soulmate. Yeah, somebody has um, anxiety or they're nervous. Yeah, because it's a new beginning. But I feel like somebody's nervous because of their past um, relationships. Yeah, because it's a risk that you're taking when it comes to this soulmate situation, this person who's um has uh that you have a soul connection with i feel as though you or both of you guys could be thinking about this thinking about each other because you have a masculine and a feminine energy in this card this is the first five of swords card that i've seen that has two people in it so i feel as though um both people are thinking about the things that happened in the past but they still want to take this risk anyway yeah, you got the lovers on the bottom of the deck. It's confirmation. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and look at this yin on the bottom and see what that's trying to say about the feminine energy because I know it's the feminine. That's how this yin. have the five of wands the cherry and two of cups somebody f may feel as though there's some competition and they want to rush in towards you and want to come be with you somebody feels feels as though they have to compete um for this feminine energy they feel as though um this feminine energy is just being you know she's a blessing um they're they're, you know, they feel as though they're, they're a blessing and it's, it's like they have this deep knowing that they have to go towards this person. They have to clean up their actions. They have to get things right and in order because they feel as though this, this is, it's unfinished business, you know, between the two, the two of these people and they want this, um, they want this relationship to go further. It says come to the edge. Um, but yeah, they feel as though they have competition when it comes to this feminine energy. So they're, you know, trying to come forward faster, fast, or they're going to come forward fast. Um, this could be, you know, physically. Yeah, they want to come forward and heal the situation. You got the star cards. The star talks about healing. Yeah, they, they want to cut out any competition that's there. They don't want you to hop in to no kind of relationship with anybody at all. Yeah, the Empress, they see you as someone that they could. Oh, my God, this damn fucking fly. Yeah, they it's like. It's like. <laughs> it, it's like, OK, say if you were entertaining somebody else they would come in and try to cock block or distract <laughs> you from whoever the hell had your interest at the, had your um your focus at that time or your energy at that time like they would do that because that fly just made me do that like what the hell it just flew right in front of me and i just was like what <laughs> i feel like that's how that per the, this person is like they they will try to do anything to get your attention because they don't want you to go towards these other people. They feel as though that you are someone they can birth new things with, have a new child with, have a new whole life with, you know. They feel as though they could provide for you. Let's clarify this two of cups. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Tower, they want to invest. And that's the Tower moment, this investment. The fact that they want to invest in you, in this relationship. That's the Tower moment. Um, let's 
see. Let's get some of these. Messages right here. The love messages, since that's what we're talking about. What we got, Spirit, for this energy that we're in. We have taking the plunge. Yeah, somebody wants to take the plunge. Somebody wants to deep dive. They want to go after it. Yeah, jealousy and possessiveness. They don't want nobody else to fucking have you. This is crazy. <laughs> this, this, this reading is funny. Like, this person does not want anybody to have you at all. Like, all hell gonna break loose if they see you with somebody else. Like, they, they not having it. You have a beautiful face, and then you have beyond words. It's like, yeah, you have a face that's, you have a face that's so beautiful, so captivating. You may have nice hair, um, nice feet, a nice body. You may wear nice clothes. You may have a different type of aesthetic to you um, that nobody else has. And then, yeah, you have beyond words. You leave people speechless, okay? You leave this person speechless. And they know if you leaving them speechless, you leaving everybody else speechless too. And it's like, no, nah, we can't have that. Yeah, like this motherfucker, whoo, uninhibited and released. This is wild, like drunk sex right here. <laughs> like this person probably has like fantasies of what they would want to do to you, you know? I'm going to go ahead and pull out the sex tarot since that's what we're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, like this person, they feel as though like your vibe, your aura is just so captivating. And it's just like they want to take, they want to, they want to dive in like, like that Trey Songz song. <laughs> All right, what, what, give me some more insight. Um, what questions should I ask? Um, I feel like the next time you see them, what is it going to be like, I guess? Next time you see them or speak to them. Because I feel like this person wants to come forward. You have the chariot. You have the six of wands. There's going to be some kind of victory. Definitely some flirting. Ace of Wands, a new beginning is definitely starting in the chariot. Yeah, somebody's coming forward. The chariot talks about somebody's moving forward, coming forward. And somebody wanting to give somebody the recognition that they deserve. Um, yeah, they want to just flirt with them, flirt with you and um, just, you know, have this new beginning, get to know one another. Anything else? Ten of Wands. Yeah, you guys could have some kind of burdens. That Yeah, Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands and Ten of Swords. Yeah, Ten, Ten. They want to end this burden and this 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 betrayal that they may have caused. Yeah, these illusions. You have the Moon. That's crazy. You have the Moon. You have the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. They want to close out these illusions. And it's like once these illusions gets closed out, they're not going to let you go. It's over with. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. This is a blessing. They want to, they want, to, it's like they want to bless you with whatever. They definitely don't want to let go. <sighs> what else, Spirit? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, 10, 10, 10. Ten of Pentacles, they feel as though that you are somebody they can build with, they can have a family with build a legacy with and they're stuck on you you have hangman i heard stuck on you by give on <laughs> i'm putting all these songs in here so y'all can you know because i'm not about to sing it <laughs> but yeah um what else we got for the collective yeah four of cups they feel as though they missed out on our opportunity and if they missed out on the opportunity with you before they're not missing on missing no opportunity again they are going to be possessive. They're not letting this. They're not letting you slip out of your hands. They're nervous. 
about this nine of swords but they're not gonna let you slip out their hands not this time nope yep you have eight of cups look at that it looks like he, she's trying to pull away and he's he's holding her hand nah he like nah uh-uh <laughs> hell no nah. bring that ass back <laughs> like he's not like he's not mm -mm. any other bitch that's trying to come in his face he's like bitch why are you in my face I'm trying to look for my babe. She in the crowd somewhere and I lost her. Because your ass over here talking to me with your funky ass, bro. That's <laughs> That's how he is. Like, he's just like, I don't want to talk to these other bitches. Because, like, these bitches, they... Y'all, all y'all bitches, y'all just want my motherfucking money. And he's like, I want a commitment. I want somebody who's down for me, you know, who's going to ride for me. And we got the Hierophant. I want to commit to this one because I let this one go and I shouldn't have. Never should have. Three of Wands. I want to move forward. I want to travel. I want to do what I want to do in this world with this one, you know. Eight of Swords, yeah, because in the past I was blind by this toxic ass bullshit, this toxic ass shit. I was, you know, wrapped up in the material things, uh, sexual um, things, I guess that sexual connections I had. You, you, I was, this person was connected to like. From, to soul ties and other people you know and who they build had trauma bond trauma bonded with in the past these people in the past could have been very codependent um only focused on money but they want you they want something with you Because in the past, they were honest with other people, but this person, somebody could have, you know, betrayed them, so they had no hope. But now, they want to come forward because they feel as though, you know, somebody else might be out there hitting that. And they don't want nobody else to hit that, you know? They don't want nobody else to hit it. They don't want nobody else to have it. They don't want nobody else to be around you. They want you. They don't want to give that opportunity up. Because look at that. The Empress. Look at that. She is on her throne. Sitting pretty. Sitting good. And this fucking fly is over here. Yeah, they don't. They will come over here. And they will, like, no matter what you're doing. No matter what you're doing. They're going to try to find a way to distract you. They're going to post on social media so you can remember, see their face. They're going to text you. They're going to do whatever they can do to have you see them. So you can remember that they are alive, you know? <laughs> like, they're going to do whatever it is to get your attention. You know, if they're going to do things that they don't normally do. Um... Let's see if I get anything else. Let's see how this person is feeling. How are they feeling? This is a good reading. I like this reading because it's light and it's positive and it's love. No negative energy. Um, how is this person feeling, spirit? How is this person feeling? Yeah, I just seen the jealous card. I <laughs> wanted to flip over. How is this person feeling? Spirit, how is this person feeling? You have grateful and confident. So they're definitely grateful for you. They're grateful for the things that they have. They're blessed. They're um, comfortable. They're comforted. They have people that um, they could talk to that are good friends. Um, they feel nourished, you know. They know that things are going to be okay. Yeah, they feel free. They're unsure which direction they're going in, but they definitely feel free. Yeah, they have some... They could be angry at something or someone because you have hateful. They could be hating the situation that they um, had to 
um, deal with in the past. Hating that they had to, yeah, they could have um, messed up trust with you or um, lost trust for someone else. Yeah, disgusted. Yeah, whatever situation that they was dealing with in the past left them disgusted and longing for something new and something better. But they're definitely grateful. Yeah, Spirit saying, yes, that's it. That's exactly what they're trying to say. That's exactly what they're trying to say. All right. So how else is this person feeling? Yeah, they respect you. They have respect for themselves. And they're curious about what you got going on. They're fascinated by you. They're interested in you. Yeah, they're still grieving, though. They're still grieving from that situation that they left behind. So, yeah. But they definitely have love for you as far as, like, friendship. You have platonic. Um, they're definitely, you know, devoted to being there for you in that way. Yeah, they have hope for the situation. They feel as though, you know, you plant the seeds and, you know, it'll grow. So they feel as though the situation could come to something. Now, they definitely could be obsessed with you. The devil card flip, fell out when I wasn't even trying to use this deck. But let's see what any other tarot cards I can get. And then I'll leave it to that. Anything, any other messages? Spirit, for this collective, this deck feels so thick. Any other messages? I feel like maybe no more messages. We have five of pentacles. Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody live, feels like they left outside the club when it comes to you now that you've moved on. Yeah, yeah. You got the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This deck is hard for me to shuffle. I feel like it's not meant for me to shuffle anything else. And Spirit is saying, yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Yeah, y'all you y'all are moving towards balance and blessings. That's pretty much what spirit is saying with this. Yeah. Balance and blessings. That's all I have for that reading. Peace.